you said you guys are a lifelong member of lifelong residents of the board. And over the years, from the 70s, the 80s, 90s, and 2000, I saw the ward spiral into it. Spiral down to this. I'm running for all running for office to put power to automatic all the back and side of people to serve the community will be my main number one responsibility. I have a blueprint set aside that will govern how I how I uh, how will govern how I will uh, how will govern how I manage the, the world. Um, the first is be accessible and responsive to the needs of the community. The second, ensure that city staff and constituents have a bonded relationship. Support efforts for improving and uh, opportunities for our children, facil facilitate decision making, promote transparency of the communication, and um, Good morning, everyone. My name is Lashonda Shani Curry, and I am also running for Alderman of the Seventh Ward. Uh, I am a educator, community organizer, uh, mother of three, wife, and also a youth advocate. I've lived in the ward for 17 years, and my platform really is about bringing democracy back to the everyday people. So as aldermen, I'll make sure I'm fighting to make sure that people like you and I have a voice in decision making, a process that we've been alienated from for far too long. So as aldermen, I'm going to be fighting for the elected school board to make sure that you and I both have effective and efficient city services, also making sure that I bridge that gap between police and community, as well as making sure that we do something about the foreclosures that have hit our community very, very hard. I also want to make sure that we can get jobs and educational opportunities here in the seventh ward.
I want to make our neighborhoods safe. I want to make them prosperous. I want to work to make them beautiful. I also want to I want to bring jobs and resources and training here to the board, especially for extra citizens. Because after they serve their time, they come home to our community, to the aging world, to their spouses, to their children. I want to work with residents to actually give them the tools and knowledge to help make their neighborhood safe. I got a D in geometry. 
My father came home and said, unless you get a, a beat, you do not play Little League, and you're not going to play baseball for Kimberly. Guys, I got a beat. I got a beat that next semester was supposed to hold another set of problems. The old man was, you know, why didn't you get a beat from Fred first place? That's a whole other, <laughs> another issue. But you see, those things like that is what we can put in place so our children have things to do, and then we've got to start the ball rolling. I mean, also, I don't know how much time you have for this, so. Nine minutes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you be here by yourself. <laughs>